Today is a very exciting day. I am on my way to meet my friends to go to the Taylor Swift concert. I'm so beyond excited. Um, I loved the Reputation album. I loved the 1989 or album even more. And I, I had an opportunity to go to the concert. My friend's dad got these free tickets and my whole group of friends, my boyfriend, were, were going and turns out it was on the same weekend that my grandmother's 70th birthday family reunion was. My parents had already bought me a plane ticket and they couldn't cancel it because they want to get the money back. And I literally, I think I cried a little bit. Cause I, I, and the sad part was that none of my friends even liked Taylor Swift. They didn't know any of the songs. They didn't even listen to her album. And they called me after the concert and they were like, wow, that was like amazing. She's actually really good. Like, I kind of like her now. I'm just like, are you kidding me? You, like you guys got to go and you don't even like her? And they ended up loving it. That was a real disappoint disappointing time in my life four years ago. But it's okay because I'm going tonight. It's in Pasadena at the Rose, Pasadena at the Rose Bowl, and I'm just, I'm so excited. Um, I, I've never been to the Rose Bowl, so I have no idea if our seats were good, but they were like 80 bucks, 89 I think. So, I mean, not terrible for like a big pop stars concert. I've never even like been to a concert like this. I mean, I went to the Jones Brothers and I was like, 15, but that was like the only like big concert I've been to other than like going to Coachella um, Other than that, I just have been going to like smaller concerts like I'm going to James Bay At the Greek theater and I've been to like 19 19 ugh, I can't talk 1975 and like people smaller people like that who don't like have huge venues and don't have openers So I'm and I'm a little bummed because Charlie XCX and Camila Camila whatever her last name is, are opening, and I like them, they're fine, but they're, I'm not like excited to see them, like I'd rather not even see them and just only see each other's but I don't want to be late, so, and, but on the 1989 concert, Vance Joy opened, and I freaking love Vance Joy, and it would have been so cool to see both of them, but I couldn't go, and, uh, but it's okay, I'm going, I'm seeing her, it's fine. We're living and yes yeah, so I'm on my way right now the Rose Bowl doesn't let any cameras in so I might just take a few clips on my phone or I'm gonna be having so much fun that I'm gonna forget so we'll see well, if I end up videotaping anything but yeah I'm so excited I'll check back in later We're going shopping. Um, yeah, it's Sunday. I literally have done nothing all day. I woke up at 11. And that's about it. So I decided, you know what? Today's a great day to go shopping. We're going to Brandy Melville first. The one in my mall closed, so I have to go to a different location. But it's not too far away from me. And there's also creation. I'm thinking, do I want to get a coconut milk for two for tomorrow? In the next couple of days? I'm not sure. Honestly, the last time I got coconut from milk from creation, um, I feel like you guys know I've been drinking I like bleh, bleh, bleh. a few months ago, not even a couple few months ago, I would get it all the time and I would have it like almost every week. I was going to creation and getting a coconut milk. But last time I had it, it kind of made me feel a little bit sick. I think honestly I drank it on like the third or fourth day when I shouldn't have. So, you know. Um, and I also 
want to go to Sephora because I have been using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer with like the I'm pretty sure I get like the oil free one with, with the 20 SPF and I'm running out and I think I should get a shade darker for the summer when I'm tan but it's 6 30 right now no it's not Ready Melville up here closes at 7, so I'm excited to go here first. But then I also realized that the mall is closing at 7 because it's Sunday. And I kind of wanted to go to Zara or like Urban Outfitters. But I don't think that's going to happen. I did do some online shopping at Free People. Because they had like 25% off all of their sale items. And they had like these uh, Levi 501 jeans that after all the discounts were like $52. And I've never actually heard, actually I have. Uh, I don't know if they were 501s. I got Levi jeans at the flea market, the Melrose flea market. Oh God, I think I paid like $75 for them. And they were supposed to be a size 27 and they were way too small. And I still have them, still like hoping one day I will fit my butt into them, but Oh my god, that was so painful. <laughs> you guys, that was like the most awkward, worst shopping experience of my life. But I bought a lot of stuff. Um, as you already know, I did not film in the dressing room because those dressing rooms, like people could see in on both sides. It's like this thin cloth that didn't go didn't go to the side all the way so I was just like and it was right in the front so people in the store could see in and I was just like really trying not for not really trying to make sure that no one saw my boobs or anything else and it was really stressful so I didn't pull out my camera and there was a bunch of 8 and 12 year olds in there and I was like oh my god I am shopping with 12 year olds what am I doing in here I need to leave right now oh god it's just bad I'm like scarred for life. Oh my god, it was so bad. Do I want to go to creation? Oh, I'm gonna go. It's open. But yeah, I did buy some cute stuff if I can find a good parking spot where no one in the front can like watch me. I'll show you. In other news, I got my car appraised by the old woman's insurance who hit me. They sent it out an inspector or appraiser or something. I can't remember what they called it. And, hmm, is creation open? I think it is. And they said it was, and the guy emailed me the other day and said, and his estimate said it would be two grand, $2,000 to fix it. So hopefully everything works out and her insurance company is gonna give me a check and I can get my car fixed. Oh, hello, if not, I'm not paying $2,000 to have my car fixed. That's just not gonna happen. Anywho, I'll show you what I guys. What, I'll show you guys what I bought. First off, bought this New York cropped hoodie. Just 
because I wear these all the time and it'd be nice to wear to have one I can wear like wear in public and not not be embarrassed and it's super soft this was $32 worth it I don't know um, I bought this dress that was really cute and I can wear without a bra TMI it's like a light it's like a blue striped dress they just fit good honestly dresses are hard for me this was 35 this is a really cute top which was 25 you can either tie it in front or wrap it around and tie in the back and I'm gonna wrap it around because otherwise my boobs fall out like honestly most of the stuff in Brandon Melvitt was meant for like people with no boobs so it's kind of hard sometimes it's kind of hard like their tank tops and crop tops and all that like they're so cute but I can't fit in them and it just looks makes me look fat honestly then I got this dress and this actually fit really well just whacked myself in the face and it has a couple buttons I have one kind of like this the same fit but there's buttons all the way down but none of the buttons stay buttoned this was 36 worth it, worth it for this dress mm, probably not but I like the way it fit and I think I'll wear it a lot. I bought this tube top just to see. I couldn't try it on without a bra. Actually, it was like this. I couldn't try it on without a bra because everyone would see my boobs in the store. So this was $16. I'm just going to try it on at home. I just don't know about these tube tops. I'm just not sure. You know? Anywho, I bought an off-the-shoulder short sleeve kind of top. I have one like that. This is actually one of stretcher than the one I have, but I have one just like this, and it's long sleeve, and I actually do wear it a lot. So this would be good for the summer. And I bought some jewelry. Because their jewelry in there was so cheap, and it's all, like, the trendy stuff that, like, you would honestly find it at Forever 21, but it would be double the price at Forever 21. I'm actually really impressed with their jewelry. This is so cute. Like what? It's not focusing. Look how cute that is. This is gold. Same kind of thing. These are stars and silver. And I got these really thin silver hoops. Because I have gold hoops, but I don't have any silver, and all my rings are always silver. But isn't that cute? basically it. It was really painful honestly. It's 6.06. Do you think I have time to go to a mall? This creation closes at 8. So I can go in. Honestly my outfit is awful. Like, what am I wearing? I dress like I've, I'm still in high school. Like what is wrong with me? A lot of things are wrong. Okay. Let's go. I got it. We're gonna have this tomorrow. And I decided I'm not gonna go to any more stores. I'm gonna wait to go to Sephora tomorrow because I'm gonna go to the mall tomorrow. Ugh. And that's basically it for right or today, I guess. Oh my god, my eyes.